Trump's mouth been edited to be bigger? 100%. 100% has. 100% have has. So, YouTube, we are finally back! It's watching more show videos. Hi, YouTube! My fellow Americans, I regret to- I may not be American, but I stand with you. ...to inform you that it is that time again. Election time. Every four years, we have to deal with this. Are you voting for the red pen files or the blue pen files? The red drone strikes or the gay drone strikes? Dead Palestinians or dead Palestinians? We're tired- Oh. Whatever shall we vote for, chat? Whatever shall we vote for? They should just pick one guy to protect democracy and have him rule forever. And I believe that guy should be me. I am officially announcing yes! that I have once again decided to run for president. I know Let's my last go! campaign didn't go very well after they found the... tweets. Oh. Black people say it all the time. I can't say it. Let's take a look at our candidates, shall we? Trump. Old. Orange. Kamala. Woman. What is... <laughs> a filibuster? I don't know. I get all my opinions from Twitter. And my husband. Same. Let's talk about Israel. <laughs> Build back better? Agenda 47? Let me introduce you to the Shoe New Deal. Bring back the red Pizza Hut cups. <laughs> Universal yes! guns. Oh. Make McDonald's colorful again. No more yes, this please. millennial gray shit, folks. We're sick of it. Government sponsored. Yep. Big titty goth girlfriend. <laughs> Make it illegal. To be mean to me. Imprison people who sleep in jeans. And finally, deport all the Greeks. Who's gonna be my VP? Alex Jones. So vote for me. <laughs> or else. The DNC is being held in Chicago. There's a Kennedy in politics and an assassination attempt. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 1968. It has Let's been a go! crazy few weeks. I'm sorry that I have been gone. I've been very busy, as some of you know now, and as some of you guessed. <laughs> I have recently Yay! had a baby. And as it turns <laughs> out, that takes up a lot of your time. And it's weird, like, what? I don't no really way. care about politics anymore. But at the same time, I care about them more than ever. Like, I feel like I care more about the future, but also I don't care about what this political streamer said about this political streamer. It is, it is so yeah. free. Yeah. I highly yeah. recommend it. And even though I told <laughs> myself I am taking a break from politics, I am retired until Once further again, notice. We're here. I just couldn't help myself. Too much has happened. Just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. The news has been absolutely insane. I cannot keep up with it. The media has been more biased and extreme than usual, but thankfully there is a tool to help you navigate through all of that. Twitter! So before we get into today's video, let's quickly get into today's sponsor, a sponsor I've been working with for over three years now, Ground News. Ground News oh. is a website and an app on a mission to oh, give readers a fun, transparent way to keep Probably up with the news. From her and it lets you compare how stories are covered all across the political spectrum. Time. From left, dude, right, and center. Dude, every dude, dude, every time, man, every time, every time I'm seeing an ad now on someone's video, especially shoes videos, I am once again reminded of that weirdo on YouTube that commented I would have skipped the ad. I always have to think about that one. That that guy's living in my head rent free, bro. That guy is living in my head rent free. Where you said I would have skipped the ad, which I didn't. I double checked. I didn't. It just the stupidness of this guy. The stupidness of this guy is just living in my head rent free. The story comes with a quick visual breakdown of the political bias, ownership, and headlines of the sources reporting to help you get all the information you need to understand the full story. The bright spot feature shows what stories are being. My news. Ah, Esmongold. My news are coming from Esmongold. Underreported from the left and the right. For example, here is a story about how Trump apparently said disabled people should die. What? what? Right away, we can see how this story has been covered by 19 sources and 78% were left-wing. Barely any right-wing outlets are reporting hmm. on this. Or this one about how the Secret Service apparently refused to use drone protection before the Trump rally in Pennsylvania. Yikes. 13 sources covered this, and 100% of them were from the right. 0% of left-wing sources covering this. What's cool- Didn't Trump also say he'd get- Rid of voting too? I don't know about that. That one I didn't hear. But that's a pretty good um, news 
ground news web thingy. Mechie, you can you know? even see who owns good, yeah. these media outlets. But my all-time favorite feature of Ground News is how easy it is to see how political <laughs> bias can affect the framing of a story. It's so funny. For example, this story, this- Oh, speaking of, by the way, of political framing and all that shit, did you guys know that for like a whole day or two or something, you weren't able to Google Trump? You were not able to Google Trump? Like, what happened? Google just deleted Trump? Google Thaddeus snapped Trump away. This is how the left wing covered it. Netanyahu's speech to Congress underscores U.S. complicity in Gaza war. And this is how a right wing source frames the exact same story. Are you ready? Aluha Akbar. <laughs> Protesters burn American flag. Rage outside what? Netanyahu's speech. I have been what? using Ground News every day since 2020. It is one of my all time favorite apps. One of the first apps I open in the morning. Best of all, you can currently get 40% off their Vantage plan, which gives you unlimited access to their amazing no, features. Get the money. deal by going to ground.news no. slash shoe, using oh, the QR code on the screen, or clicking the link in the video description. And now, back good. to the video. Now, as you know, I do not watch mainstream media. Dude, is that the new monster that she's using? Like one of the newer ones? No, the newer monster tastes are so yeah, good. Yeah, it's all biased and fake and bought by Big Pharma and the military industrial complex, blah, 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 you know me. So instead, I tune into the real news. Will Donald Trump win the next presidential election? Winner! Take that! No, thank you. Will Joe Biden be the president for the next four years? No. Interesting. Thank you. Ooh. Is the ocean considered another dimension? Yes. What? Thank you. Trump yeah, and Biden had what? a debate, and well, it went exactly how we all expected. The, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with. <laughs> Is that the clip where Trump roasts him? Is that the more one? Border patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump? Uh, I really don't know what he said just... at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. You know, Trump is a comedy genius. Trump is such a comedy genius, man. Oh my god. I have my opinions, but let's see what the American people thought. I forgot to watch. Understandable. <laughs> have a nice day. <laughs> Joe, you did such a great job. You answered every question. You knew all the questions. <laughs> you did it. You answered all the questions. Good job, old man. Bro, let the men rest. You answered every question? Good the job! The is in hell. At first, Democrats tried to play it off like Biden had a cold. They can only keep Biden in the basement for so long, and now the whole world sees his brain melting live on TV. The, uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with, um, <laughs> dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look. Bro, let the men rest! We finally beat Medicare. They couldn't deny it anymore, and what? people have been talking about it for years. I have been talking about it for years. We all saw it, and it's only gotten worse. And it's like fucked up to think about because it just kind of shows, like, of course we all knew this, but they really don't give a fuck about us. If this yeah. is truly the most important election of our lifetime, and if democracy is at stake, why were you putting up this rotting corpse of a man? The Democrats had four years to find someone else. Four years! There are a ton of other options, like, I would vote for Gavin Newsom. I don't know any of his policies, but he looks I like a serial killer, and that's enough. <laughs> this is why we need to repeal the 19th. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Am I? Everything I say is a joke, unless you agree with it, then I'm serious. There's just no oh. way Trump is losing. It would take a miracle. It would take something like, I don't know, Trump getting shot in the head at a rally in Pennsylvania. How did the fuck did he become president of Mo? Well, back then, he was still somewhat there. No, he's not there anymore. You see something that said, take a look at what happened. Oh. Bro. This, this was oh, insane. Yeah. He's winning. I shit you not, I found yeah, out about he this is. Of After a this, meme he's on winning. Twitter. The world could be ending, and I wouldn't know unless I saw a meme on Twitter. The Literally. Bullet just grazed his ear because he turned at the last second to look at some immigration chart. Being racist literally Insane. saved his life. Insane. There's a lesson in that. The shooter was identified as Thomas Crooks, a 20-year-old who managed to find an unoccupied, unguarded roof not too far from the rally. He somehow knew that roof would be unguarded, laid down, and aimed a rifle at the former president without being noticed. Oh wait, 
he was noticed by everyone except the people who should have noticed. Yeah, yeah someone's on top of the roof. Look, there he is right there. Yeah. Right there, see him? He's laying down, see him? Yeah, he's laying down. Yeah. Right here. He's we on have, the roof, he's right here. We have people that right here, here. right on the roof. Much- there were people. I didn't even know this. I didn't even know this. And there were literal people that noticed him and they were like, Yo, there's someone. You gotta take care of this guy. They- Bro! What? Either this was insane incompetence, or they let it happen. I'm leaning more towards the former, because if you look at our bridges and airplanes, America is in shambles. People were laughing about how some of the cops protecting Trump were women and- Thank you for the sub! Stinsk just subscribed for two months. Yep, and very little was done. Yeah, what the hell, man? Like, imagine pushing for DEI in security. Pushing for DEI in security is ridiculous. So ridiculous. (sighs) That's my statement. I'll I'll leave it at that. I'll leave it at that. I have more to say, but I'll leave it at that. Come on now, that's sexist. They were making these awful memes like this. No, but like actually though, why it's like this were women wait, 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 and wait, like wait, wait, wait. Come on now, that's sexist. They were making these awful memes like this. What? <laughs> no, but like actually though, why did they have a five foot three woman protecting a six foot three man? The shooter could have had- Literally. Why? It's so stupid. So stupid. It's the only reliable source I trust. You shouldn't. I'm very uninformed in things. <laughs> I am a very un- uninformed person and I live under a rock. I live under a rock. <laughs> had another clear shot of his head. Like, look at that. Look at that. What is that? Like, what happened? Did the Secret Service initiate some DEI program? That would be like something out of a right wing boomer meme. To expand hiring, they're aiming to have 30% Here women recruits by 2030. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Re fucking ridiculous. Oh. Oh no. Breaking. FBI confirms that Trump's ear was struck by a bullet. No, it wasn't. It was struck by the glass. His bullet, uh, like, his ear was not hit by the bullet. His ear was hit by the glass that shattered. He felt the grace of the bullet going by his ear. Wow, thanks guys. How much do we pay you in taxes again? Also, now that the FBI said it, I'm kind of doubting it. This is like when the government confirmed there were aliens and I stopped believing that there were aliens. The way we were so close to just seeing Trump's head be blown into smithereens in the the worst way to be blown is so crazy. Like, what was the motivation behind this? I mean, the shooter would have to be some crazy leftist or maybe a crazy far right person who didn't like Trump, right? Well. We don't know, because apparently this 20-year-old had no social media presence. Okay. We do know that he donated to the Democrats and was a registered Republican. The internet was really desperate to find any kind of motive, but the only thing the media seemed to report on was the fact that the last thing he did was watch porn. Bro literally had to goon one last time, bro. He gooned one last time, man. Happen, <laughs> thanks for the follow. He went out gooning, bro. Bro, my head cannon. Bro, I have a head cannon on this, right? Um, because I, I hope she was gonna talk about this too. But uh, there was there was some interview about I think uh with a guy in the same class or something as him or from the same school that the shooter didn't uh, make the shooting class because he was a really bad fucking aim. He was a really, really sh- shit aim, so he didn't make the class in shooting or something, or the club or something. I don't, I don't fucking know exactly, right? I, I'm not American, I don't know how that shit works. <laughs> but, um... I'm not coming back, just saying. Oh. Goodbye, panda. Goodbye, goodbye. But, um, 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 so my headcanon, <laughs> I'm a stupid as headcanon on this, okay? 
I am a stupid ass head cannon. <laughs> and this is gonna sound so bad, man. This is gonna sound so bad. So take this is a joke, okay? This is a joke. It's a joke. I'm not actually thinking this. This is a head cannon, quote unquote. It's a joke. <laughs> Where the guy was literally so fucking mad that he couldn't aim a shot, and he was like, "I'm gonna show America and shoot Trump." Oh my god. Such a bad head cannon. It's a joke. It's a joke, chat. It's a joke. It's a joke! The real anim master. <laughs> it's a joke! Bring in one more goon sesh before getting shot in the head by the feds. Personally, I think it's important to know what kind of porn he was looking at. I think that will set the record straight. True. Was it furry Actually, porn? Leftist. We gotta Hentai? Know. Right wing. Feet? Centrist. Latex balloon inflation BDSM sissy hypno? She one head fan. I always thought about like <laughs> if the MK Ultra suddenly oh kicked God. in and I went on like a kill spree. Good luck figuring out my politics. <laughs> Trump shooter used gaming site that features presidential assassination game. So for those of you who what? don't know, they're talking okay. about Steam. <laughs> he doesn't even own the game. He didn't even play the game. Um, no way! Did they a No way! K Ultra suddenly kicked in and I went on like a kill spree. Good luck figuring out my politics. <laughs> Trump shooter used gaming site that features presidential assassination game. Oh, I, I love Fox News. I love American news, man. Kids, please watch Owen uh, recreate this shooting after this video. Bro, I've seen you uh, type that like twice now or something. Uh, I don't know who that is. I don't know what that is. If you want me to watch something, suggest it in the Discord. So, for those of you who don't know, they're talking about Steam. <laughs> he doesn't even own the game. He didn't even play the game. This would be like being called a pedo because you have Netflix and Cuties is on Netflix, even though you never watched Cuties. He's not trans. He's not Muslim. We can't figure out his political identity. Who do we blame? Gamers. The gamers! I'm not a believer in stochastic terrorism. I think that's a little goofy. People should be allowed to- He was a Republican from what I remember. Besides people. But if you're like, he's Hitler, he's Hitler, he's Hitler, he's Hitler. Eventually someone is gonna try to kill Hitler. But it is crazy to think about how like, this will be in the history books. This will this be is in my son's photo. history. This is such a good photo, man. This is an amazing photo. And yes, this is history. This is going to be in history books. If we still are going to have history books in the future. History book. But it will look more like this. <laughs> now, unfortunately, someone did die. One of the bullets hit Cory Comparator yeah, as he was protecting peace. his family. But there were people, like, what mocking this, which is insane to me. Like, it's, it's one thing to make fun of a failed assassination attempt, even a successful assassination attempt on a politician. If we can't mock or criticize the people in power, there is an issue. But it's another thing to mock a innocent Trump supporter that died. The guy didn't have yeah. any power. He wasn't a politician. He was just a Why dude. was that guy like mocked? stuff like this leads. And sure, you could say oh if a biden supporter died you know maga would be laughing about it too and like sure Ridiculous. like can you just have some principles oh speaking like, of can you have of some TikTok empathy doxing people for what? making jokes about the assassination on like facebook and getting people fired from their jobs and whoa about the assassination on like facebook and getting people Hi, the individual's comments don't reflect the Home Depot or our values. We can confirm she no longer works at the Home Depot. At the Home Depot! They got someone's... Someone fired at Home Depot! Who the fuck cares what your political views are when you work at Home Depot? <gasps> Oh my god. People fired from their jobs, including some old lady who like worked at Home Depot. Like her her life is miserable enough, man. She's like 65 working at Home Depot. Libs of TikTok just completely forgetting the reason she started the account in the first place to make fun of cringy liberal behavior like Welcome getting to people America, fired for so. jokes and political opinions online. I have been incredibly consistent over the years consistently retarded. But one of the things I've been very consistent on, one of my principles is being against getting people fired 
for like things they said online. If you don't have principles, you are no better than your enemy. And it just becomes this extremely toxic back and forth, this toxic cycle. And you all look like psychopaths while I'm here on the sidelines, principled and losing forever. Like social media, when this all was going down, was a train wreck. Oh, it really was. Speaking of train wrecks, the RNC happened. The what? What is RNC? Let me hear you cheer if you support Israel. Chet, was what is RNC? Well. Oh, no. oh. Okay, I've seen this. <laughs> Republic National Congress. Okay. Uh, what a uh, convention? Congress? Convention? I I I I've seen Asman watch him. <laughs> I've seen Asman watch him. <laughs> We become totally unhinged if Donald Trump is not elected in November. At the RNC. Why is that dog? <laughs> My COVID is hitting. I say it. So I'll follow Bubba around. Thank you. Hydrate. I should hydrate after this. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna drink. At the RNC, Trump finally announced his VP pick, J.D. Vance, a man who, according to Snopes, um. did not, in fact, fuck a couch. <laughs> Well, he lost my vote. <laughs> JD is a senator from Ohio, the author of Hillbilly Elegy, and eternally oh. online. Oh, America! America's. Oh my god, get the popcorn, man. Get the fucking popcorn. Where's my popcorn? America is so funny. Post liberal who follows me on Twitter. I sure will. It is the weirdest thing to me. Democrats say that it is racist to believe. Well, they say it's racist to do anything. I had a Diet Mountain Dew okay. yesterday, and one today. I'm sure they're gonna call that racist too. Yeah, because it's diet. What the hell? You, you should have had the normal one. Should have had the fucking normal one. What the fuck are you out here doing? Drinking Diet Mountain Dew? What the fuck? It's good. No. <laughs> I love you guys. I just raised him, yes! That's my oomphy! This dude follows like a thousand people, and two of them are me and my husband. There is a chance that we have a Damn. vice president who has retweeted the words Hitler Bussy 420. Oh, they did it. <laughs> they literally did write about Mountain Dew being racist. I hate it here. After posting on Twitter that he was dropping is. out, we didn't hear from Biden for a few days, and people started suspecting that he was dead. People genuinely thought the DNC took him out behind the shed and put him down <laughs> like an old dog. The shooter missed. Quick. Plan B. Kill Biden. Phones don't even look- Phones don't even look like this anymore. This that man's was brain was so fried, he had to drop out of the race, but he's still the president? We have a president who is too senile to run for president. So who is going to run for president? Who is coming to save us? You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> just as what? I predicted five years ago. America might get its first female president because the president stepped down or died. Empowering. I oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember, but Kamala was not popular at all during the 2019 Democratic primaries. She dropped out before Iowa. She was less popular than Tulsi Gabbard, and people don't like to hear it, but she was literally chosen because of her gender. Like, it's not even a joke. During the debate, when it was Bernie versus Biden, they were asked who they're gonna pick as a VP, and Bernie was like, well, it depends uh, if they're progressive and if they're following a progressive agenda. And Biden was like, I vow to get a female VP. And the crowd went nuts. Woman! Wow! Yes! Woman! <laughs> We might have President Kamala Harris, 
because Biden tried to outwoke Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders at West Lebanon. Harris is not going to win this election, and she is going to have a very difficult time winning unless she begins to speak forcefully about the needs of the long neglected working class of this country. The quote tweets and the replies were just full of thousands of people calling him sexist for this. Bernie is absolutely correct though. Kamala has been so focused on getting like the TikTok vote with her little like brat summer thing. I don't know what the f brat is. <sighs> I'm old, but someone has to remind Kamala Harris that she's running for president of the United States, not president yeah. of the gays and women. White yeah. women for Harris meeting raised millions. Broke what? Zoom. Oh, oh, but when I want to have a whites only meeting, I'm called a racist. <laughs> wow. As white women, we need to use our privilege to make positive what? changes. If you, what? you find yourself talking over or speaking for BIPOC individuals or God forbid. Thanks to the follow up around. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. A little bit late on this. Correcting them. Just take a beat. And instead we can put our listening ears on. Oh, uh, what? Cut the woman off of my screen, man. The oh, fuck? Noka, thanks for the follow. Oh, no. Can Kamala Harris pull off a victory in three months? Three top strategists lay out how. How do you uh, run a three-month campaign in an era when presidential isn't. campaigns have become years-long affairs? Like, Trump is winning. It's it's written in history, man. It's history. Trump is winning. <laughs> we gathered three top campaign managers to ask just that. We spoke with Patty Solis Doyle, who ran Hillary Clinton's 2008 presidential primary campaign. Robbie Mook, who ran Clinton's 2016 general election campaign. Hi, okay. Hillary Clinton team? Yeah, I need advice on how to win. Hey. What? <laughs> Do you think Hillary's like seething? If there's any reason to vote for Kamala, it's just Jesus, to make sorry. Hillary extremely mad. It was supposed to be me! <laughs> the Democrats are voting for a cop and the Republicans are voting for a felon. And one of the candidates' VP is a shoe on head, head fan. America is truly beautiful. Dragonish, thanks for the follow. Wild timeline we're on, folks. It's silly season. I don't know who's gonna win. All I know is that this is a race between two very different candidates. Do not come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come. <laughs> Anyway, that was Look at his smile! Look at his snarky smile! Look at him! Look, he's so proud! He's so happy! Anyway, that was my little political video. I just wanted to cover everything that happened so we can like look back on this during World War III and see how easy we had it. So what are your thoughts? Who do you think is going to win? Not who do you want to win, who do you think is going to win? Big thank you to Trump. everyone who donates to me on Patreon. I appreciate your support so, so much. If you'd like to support the channel, click the link down below and I will see you guys very soon with a fun, non-political video. Yay! Bye. Please shoo more videos. <laughs>